Hey guys, it's Zachary back from Dorm Food with another tutorial on Buildcraft. So this time I'm just going to cover the engines, all three of them, and I'm going to try and do it simply. So there is redstone, steam, and combustion engines, and they are all similar with the recipes. There's just three of whatever the material is on top. It's depending on what you're trying to make. Redstone, it's wood. Steam, it's cobblestone. And combustion, it's iron. Same goes for the gears on the bottom. It switches from iron gears for combustion, stone gears for steam engines, and wood gears for redstone engines. Now, I'm going to go over the redstone engines first because they're the simplest and the cheapest and the least efficient. But they are going to be the one you use the most. So, redstone engines uh, work using just a redstone current. So, say I have... Uh, a couple of stacks of cobblestone in this chest, just like this. And we will put a bucket, because everyone loves buckets. And we have a redstone engine that we're going to use to pump things out of this chest. So all you would need to give it is redstone power. You can use a switch or a button or whatever you want to use, pressure plate, and it'll start pumping. That's all it takes is a redstone torch. Really simple. They're the least efficient, they pump the slowest, as you can see and they do not put out much power at all. So that's how those work. Now the key thing about um, all engines is that they overheat. Well they don't overheat but they heat up. So this is a redstone engine, it's at full capacity, it's at the red level. They start at blue and they heat up, um, they go blue, green, and then red. You saw a green one over there a second ago. And as they heat up they start pumping faster. As you can see, this one's going probably twice the rate that the regular blue one does. So, um, steam engines, which are arguably the best engines, are really simple to use. Um, they do require a redstone current. All three do. All engines require redstone. But they require a lava source. So I tried pumping lava straight through a pipe to it, but that didn't seem to work. So... Um, what you need to do is get a lava bucket and put it straight into the steam engine. You just right click it to pull up the GUI. And that'll fill up the uh, furnace type icon <laughs> with fire. And as you can see, it outputs a lot more than a redstone engine. It's pumping out um, stacks instead of just one at a time. As you can see, it's already pumped out all the redstone. So that is a lot more efficient in the idea that it pumps out huge chunks at a time. It's also a lot better for things like pumps and mining wells and quarries because it outputs a lot more power. Um, same for conductive piping if you're using that. I'll explain that in a later episode. So those are steam engines. They're arguably the best because they only take a bucket of lava, which is pretty easy to get. And they, uh, they run for quite a while. They go for quite a long time. And they work really well. They pump out tons of, uh, tons of stuff at once. So that's really good. They're good for pumps. They're good for mining wells, etc. And then the last engine, combustion engines, are the best. So, whoops. Why did I do that? Whatever. So combustion engines require to require cooling. If they overheat, they will explode, which is a problem. So you need to feed it uh, water. Hold on. What was I doing? There we go. I'm just going to fix that. So you need to feed it water. Oh, hey, I'm out of water. That's brilliant. Yeah, I just had to re-record this. So, the way it works is you have your combustion engine here. Sorry about the FPS. My Skype just did something funny. And you have your redstone torch. And you have your water being pumped to it. Just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some water in here. Uh, there we go. I'm go and get rid of that. There we go, like that. Now, as you can see, it starts pumping the water out. Why is it pumping out? I don't even have a redstone engine there. That's odd. So typically you need a redstone engine for these pumps to pump out. I guess it's glitched right now, but keep that in mind. So you need a redstone engine there pumping for that to work. It's just a glitch. So as you can see, this GUI has filled up slightly on the combustion engine with water. It's best to keep this at full all the way. It won't overheat even if you have just a tiny bit, but it will use up the water. So it's best to have a continual source I found it easiest just to pump straight from a water source to the combustion engine instead of from a storage tank. Because you usually won't be watching and then the storage tank will fill up and kaboom. Now, um, 
Combustion engines also require a source of fuel. They have three different types of fuel. They can use actual fuel, which is refined oil, and lava and oil, which is what I'm forgetting. Sorry, guys. Where is the oil? I'm blind. Someone's probably telling me where it is right now. There we go. Okay. So if I put some oil in there, it's also pumping out. That's kind of weird. I had a redstone thing on it early. Maybe it's just glitched. But I could be wrong. You never know. Um, so, yep, there we go. See, it's not going. So if I put a redstone engine on it, it'll start pumping out. Just like that. And once the oil gets in here, it'll start filling up uh, this side of the combustion engine's GUI, and it will start pumping like mad. You're going to see all four of these stacks pump out one stack at a time. See? It takes out 48 at a time. And it pumps pretty fast. When these things get um, heated up all the way, they're, they're pretty powerful. So um, combustion engines are by far the most powerful. They work best for quarries and they um, also work best for conductive piping. Now they do require water and fuel. You can use lava or you can use um, fuel or oil. Take your pick. The oil works better than lava but lava is more plentiful and fuel you can only get by refining oil if that makes sense. Fuel is by far the best because it works about eight times longer than uh, regular oil. So this right here, this amount, if this was fuel, it would be equivalent to this entire thing filled with oil. So fuel is by far a lot better. So that's pretty much it. There's not much else to do with engines. Just make sure to keep this cooled. If I let this run for a while and kept filling up with fuel, this would drain out and this thing would explode and put a nice size crater around here. So that's not a good thing. Um, other than that, there's not much else. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want another tutorial, feel free to throw me a comment or a personal message. Um, we do do requests, and uh, we are opening, open to accepting challenges from people. And if you have any ideas that you'd like to see us build, please send us a message. Thanks for watching.